I could even touch up right now because I've been filming all day, hun, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the title down below, this is going to be a beauty related video and I thought, you know, we've been having a whole lot of heat this month. If you are staying in the Southern Hemisphere and you are in South Africa particularly, you will know that it's been hot like hell and raining like crazy. Like it's just, it's just a mess. And if you're somebody who wears foundation, you know how it can be so problematic. And if you've got oily skin or dry skin or combination skin and you wear foundation, you know how problematic these things could get, especially in the hot months. So I wanted to share with you guys my favorite foundations and powders that I use in the summertime. Now I need to do a disclaimer here, okay? I've got combination skin. However, even in the summertime, I love matte foundations. As much as I may wear highlights, uh, generally I love matte foundations because they seem to hold more longer on my face than uh, the dewy foundation. So even in summertime, I'll find myself wearing a matte foundation, whereas a lot of people I know seem to love matte foundations in the winter time. So I wanted to do a disclaimer. You're going to see a little bit of a mix of both. Actually, actually you might see mostly matte foundations or semi matte foundations but it's fine it's fine we are here to talk about the best foundations for me that i would recommend for you um in the summertime and the powders that go along with it so if you'd like to watch this video then definitely do keep watching so i'm going to start with two drugstore foundations and you know what when we talk drugstore please don't come at south african youtubers on twitter and all these other social platforms and say no why are they calling it drugstore they're trying to be americanized no we're trying to be universal the reason why we call it drugstore is because somebody who's sitting in america or is sitting in the uk is not going to understand what discam is and they're not going to understand what clicks is so when we say drugstore they know in terms of financial that it's much cheaper than a higher end foundation so we're going to call it drugstore I'm gonna call it drugstore if you have a problem with the fact that I call it I then I'm asking it. but aside from that I'm gonna call it drugstore so the two drugstore foundations that I love and I've been loving in the summertime are these two this one needs no introduction on this channel because you guys know how much I love this foundation I love this foundation like so much that I use it every single day and for work or for school and if you want a really reasonably priced foundation, these two are really great. This one being cheaper than uh, this one. But the thing is they're both matte foundations. <laughs> um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and this is for normal to oily skin. <clears throat> I tend to get oily in the t-zone that's why I get and then I've got dry patches here and there but this one seems to work really really well for me I'm a big 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 fan of this one um, and my shade is 350 it seems to hold a lot longer than some other foundations that I use in the summertime that just slip off my face. Um, but because I always come in powder, it the slip doesn't really happen as often. But this one seems to hold fairly well, even with barely, like very, very minimal uh, powder. So I absolutely love this one. This one goes for maybe a hundred bucks or something along those lines. I don't remember, but I'll put the prices. Absolutely love this one. Comes in a tube, very, very, in terms of hygiene, that's great hygienic and um it's it's great it's small it fits into a bag very very nicely i love maybelline uh fit me matte and poreless it's great and it's also got for me it's more of a light to medium finish it i can't go really heavy with this one i don't really i don't feel like i get full coverage with that one whereas with this one which is also a matte this one is more on the, se it's not matte, 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 like uh, double wear. It's more on the semi sort of matte uh, side. Um, but um, this is Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. And my shade is caramel in this one and caramel in the other one. This one I really, really prefer. I love this one as you guys know, like you've been knowing. 
you've been knowing how much I love this foundation and also comes in a pump very very good in terms of hygiene as well it's really really good I love this foundation um, it works well you have to shake it it even tells you you need to shake it well before you use it because it binds the, the foundation very very nicely but I'm an absolute absolute fan of this one um, <clears throat> it gives that semi for me it's a semi matte foundation but as compared to let me pull this one out as compared to the Maybelline fit me one this is full on coverage this is what I'm wearing today I wear it all the time I really wear it all the time I'm wearing it today but it's full on coverage it actually looks so flawless it covers up everything hyperpigmentation uh if you if you like full coverage foundations and you want one that won't make you feel too heavy um especially in the summertime where you don't want your face feeling weighed down you want it to still feel like you barely have any uh makeup on which is me that's how i'm feeling right now i feel like i barely have any makeup on this one is very very good for that very very good for that i love 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 this one and then looking at my higher end foundations, you guys know I've got a lot of higher end foundations. You've got Tom Ford, you've got this, that, Estee Lauder, Urban Decay, blah, blah, blah. But I wanted to be true and truthful and honest uh, as to the ones I use the most, especially in the summertime. These are two that I use the most in the summertime. Um, and I'll get into why. Okay. Okay. The first one is the OG, the original, the one and only, the one foundation that I would always recommend you to go get. This is medium to high end in terms of price wise. Uh, this is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and I've just basically put a pump on that one. Let me just put this down here. I've just put a pump on this so that you can um, see. But um, um, it's great. The pump you can get at MAC as well, they hardly ever have it. But if you're lucky, pick up a pump. It's really, really, really good. Um, um, my shade is NC47 with this one. Uh, the Studio Fix is a matte foundation. But the thing is, with me, like I said, I love matte foundations in the summertime because I tend to sweat a lot in my T-zone. But when I have a matte foundation, as much as I sweat, it doesn't come through. It, I don't... I mean, I don't end up looking like a grease ball. That's basically what I mean. I don't end up looking like a grease ball and this foundation does really, really good at sort of um, avoiding that. I can touch up with the powder. I might look a tad bit shiny in the T-zone, but I don't look like a grease ball and that's why I love it. Um, it's full coverage. It covers everything literally covers everything feels very very nice on the skin for me it doesn't for me personally it doesn't feel oh my god my skin is being weighed down my skin is so heavy blah 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 it actually feels quite nice on the skin and i absolutely love it so definitely definitely uh well worth a try if you're looking for a new foundation but for me in the summertime definitely love this one and then a uh, little bit higher end um uh, this is the estee lauder double wear nude now i've got the double wear double wear which is here this is the double wear double wear and this is the double wear nude the bottles are very very different as you can see the thing is with this one oh uh, let's put that there but um the thing is with this one what i love about this one is it's very very watery it's very very liquid like as opposed to the double wear original which is very thick even when you put it you know just pump it out onto your the palm of your hand or onto a foundation plate or what have you you can see when you pump it out that it's quite thick very matte the double wear for me i love it even in the summertime sometimes because it's just a reliant foundation that one the, the bigger one uh but i prefer this one because it feels lighter on the skin and for me in summer as opposed to that one this one is much better because it feels a lot more lighter on the skin a very very big fan of this one uh, my shade in this is rich caramel my shade in the other double wear is rich caramel as well just for shade reference if you're somebody who might be uh, similar shades to me and you're looking to get a shade um, it's really really nice very very watery very very light um, water fresh it even says water fresh makeup very light you literally have to shake it that's how liquidy it is you have to shake it liquidy is that a term you have to shake it quite a bit um but uh, just so that the foundation can sort of blend in mold in together with whatever else that they have in there um but it's a really really great foundation but those ones are my favorite foundations uh for the summertime now to complement the foundations i always top up with powder i know there are people who do not like powder 
um, in uh, they just don't like powder they'll, they'll use just foundation which I do not know how you do that because when you're hugging people when you this and that even when you have powder on but when you're hugging people like some of your makeup will stay off on, on people but even just foundation I I don't know how I feel about just having a liquid foundation on and not setting it with powder it just doesn't make sense to me but there are people who do it I've seen it I've seen youtubers who do it and I'm just like what is your life? What is okay. it? Okay, so I've got four powders. We're gonna go through this and I'm gonna try to go through it as quickly as possible. Going to start with the more reasonably priced powders. Um, the cheaper one between these two is this one, which I recently discovered and I spoke about in my 2018 beauty favorites. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Love this powder. The reason why I love this powder is because it's very, very lightweight. In fact, go. I could even touch up right now because I've been filming all day, hun, okay? But I really like this one. This is the one that I carry in my bag every single day along with this brush. I carry in my everyday makeup bag that goes to work with me and sits in my handbag. I carry this one with me every single day. I love it. It's light. Even when you apply it on, um, it feels light on the skin. It's a really, really, you, you don't feel like your face is weighed down by makeup, which is something that I really, really love about this one um, it makes your skin look flawless it just does the most but barely minimum bare minimum but does the most in terms of coverage and in terms of just setting your foundation the second one that I like is the one from Sorbet I really like this one the only problem with this one is I feel like I use it very very sparingly like literally just just a little bit because i feel like it's a little bit on the orange side this is the sorbet powerful stuff light pressed powder really light it's nice it's just a little bit on the orange side for me but i really really like it nevertheless um it is my shade is medium it is lightweight it is lightweight as it says for me it's just a little bit on the orange side so i don't use it as much but for the most part i think if you are on the i think it's around the 200 Grand mark or 200 and something and the rumor one is a hundred and something but uh, this one is also a really really nice uh, drugstore powder that I discovered that I actually really like I don't like many drugstore powders I'm not gonna lie and then a ride or die is uh, Mac this is the Mac MSF which is a mineralized skin finish and my shade is dark in this one I love this powder. I love this powder on so many levels. I love this powder. Um, also a powder that sits in my everyday makeup bag. The reason why is because it's got luminous specks of like if you look into the sun or whatever and um, you look in a mirror but you look directly into the sun and you look in a mirror you can see like golden sparks of something. I don't know what they are. It's very luminous. Um, really pretty for the summertime. I think it's a really nice powder for the summertime. I don't know what's in here. I feel like it's a little bit heavier than the Rimmel Stay Matte one but this one is luminous. It sort of brings a lot of life and party to your face. And you've got like little angels dancing on your face, like little Tinkerbells with shiny whatever dancing on your face. But it's really, really nice. I mean, it's it's one of the best sellers and it is, there's a reason why it's one of the best sellers. But it's a really great powder that lasts me about two months. If I used it continuously every day, the thing is I change between my products because I don't want my products wasting away. But if I use it continuously every day, it would last me relatively two months. So I normally buy two at a time so I never have to walk into a Mac store for a while because it's dangerous in there. It's dangerous. You end up buying a lot more than you came in for, you know. But this one, one of my favorite powders. Religious ride or die. Always going to be in my makeup stash. Love right. it. And then the last powder I'm going to mention is a little bit more on the pricey side, but by far one of my favorite, favorite powders. This is the Bobbi Brown Sheer Finished Press Powder, and my shade is Soft Honey, which is number eight. Now, when you look at it, it looks very, very light, but it's translucent. So when you apply it onto your face, it doesn't come up looking like that. It actually disappears and looks very, very nice on your face. Um, my shade in uh, Bobbi Brown Foundations is 6.5 Warm Almond, and they normally pair it with this uh, powder. Now, this powder, I didn't really think, oh, I was like, mm, apprehensive. But uh, when, when I tried it in the store all those years ago, I've been repurchasing this one as, you know, this is my 
slightly fancier powder apart from my other fancy powders but this is my slightly fancier powder and I really really like this powder um, also because it is very very light so for the summertime I think it's great to to set uh, your face with a light powder rather than have something that's going to make you feel cakey and you know so I absolutely love this powder I uh, wanted to share that one with you I hope this video was helpful these are the uh, my current favorite um, foundations and powders for the summertime definitely let me know which ones are yours comment down below and yeah I'll talk to you guys in the next video don't forget to click subscribe join the JK fam we're doing the most we're doing the most and I'll see you in the next video bye